Yo, sub dudes. Uh, so really quick tip um, about connecting spline to multiple null points or objects, whatever you want to connect to, because you know you can't connect it. Uh, you know your one of your spline points to the object via Expresso, and you probably seen that tutorial. And if you needed to connect multiple points to multiple objects, you know you probably probably what you did was you made five point uh, nodes like I'm gonna show you real quick uh, just get some quick espresso thing so probably you did like point 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 whatever and then you connected every each point to it but today I'm just gonna show you really quick how to do it with four nodes at most and you can connect like thousand spline points to thousand objects and then you can you know move those objects and spline points will follow the position of them without you know all this laborious hard expressive work so let's just start from the beginning again so what I have here is like just some objects like some holders whatever it's called and what I'm gonna do is just gonna make a spline with the same amount of points that I have the objects well, you can make more, of course, but the points uh, that is not gonna be, you know, shown up, not gonna follow the the um, our our objects pretty much. So, what I'm gonna do now it doesn't matter how you create it, where you create it, because all these points here we see uh, they are gonna snap to the our our null objects that I made before. So I, each holder I made a uh, null object, just simple null object in the center of the uh, in the center of simple torus. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make um, null object. Let's let's make null object and put express a tag on it. So it doesn't matter where the express a tag really is. Probably it should. It's better that it's above uh, the hierarchy, so it uh, acts first, and then everything else goes after. So, what you need to do is drag in the spline. We are, uh, want to use an espresso, and what I'm gonna do maybe is put it on the side view here, so we can see the objects as well. So we have the spline, and we want to connect it. So we're gonna use the same point node. And uh, if you are familiar with this point node, you can connect one spline point with it. So if you connect object to the object. Uh, you will have uh, in attributes manager you will have option to select point index and you can connect one point to uh, one of the points of the spline to the object so you can you know drag in your rope point position and then you just go to coordinates set global position and you drag in on here and select point position and what it's gonna do, it's gonna select that uh, zero, uh, the z index zero point of the spline, and it's just gonna connect to the rope four object that we selected here. But what if I want to connect it all the objects because I'm fucking lazy? Uh, we don't gonna need these things here. So what you're gonna need is object list node. Yes without a gap. So what object list now is giving us is the iteration list. So what iteration list uh, is giving is we can drag all our null objects in it or whatever objects you want. I think uh, it should work theoretically with MoGraph stuff so maybe for next tutorial I'll, I'll do that. But. So we just drag in all them in a sequence that we want the object uh, the points I mean to to be attached to these objects so right here the naming is really helpful in this situation I, I think because if we name our objects the same way as the spline structure points and what I mean by structure is if you go to the spline and click on structure you're gonna get all these points and they're gonna be named for you so you don't need to think about it right actually I think we don't need one point yeah, it's too much. Maybe just uh, yeah. need five points. 
anyway so so we have zero one two three four and uh, that's our structure so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this object list uh, what we're gonna need as well is object index because we need to figure out the index of this uh, these points I mean not the points but the object list because right now we just have the instance so what the object list is gonna do is every calculation that's gonna happen is just gonna take the null object and it's just gonna scrub through all of them and it's gonna shoot out the info of it to somewhere else so what you're gonna do now here is just connect the instance to the distance and the object index here is gonna sp spit out the, the the same instance and the index of our object list so what we can do now is connect index the point index right and what else we can do is probably connect uh, just instance to no, we can do it like this uh, you would I would love that instance would just like be able to connect to the point position but the instance um, the instance part here is just have the information what object it's it's holding the information of the object so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna take the object node and we're gonna put it here and this fucker gonna and this object node is is right now it's named null for some reason but why it's named null is because uh, when you create the object node is uh, whatever you're selected uh, it's gonna just take that information so what you need to do now here is take this instance connect to the input of the object node and connect to the object so now it's having the information of all these objects in a sequence so what you can do now is just drag these away uh, just maybe make this bigger so we can see it better and we take this no object and now what we have is all the properties of that object so we can select global position again just like we would do with any object even though the name is different right now you don't have to change it so you can just like connect this to the point position bam and all the points got uh, are connected in a sequence to your nulls so right now if I would just create for example I'm using this plugin for creating quick sweep nerps but to be honest you can just make a sweep simple sweep nerp with end side it's going to do the same thing but what you can do now is if you take the holders and move them all of these are connected and you don't need to do entire bullshit of operations to you know edit it later or whatever it's just gonna work like this so you know it's, I think it's pretty useful for for the task where you need to connect like multiple wires to something or whatever and you know you can make you know come up with some cool designs like this you know or rig the character like this because sometimes I use this technique well not sometimes that's how I found out of it this technique because I like to do the characters that uh, you know are somehow attached to the ropes they are more mechanical or whatever so I just pretty much was super lazy to connect all of the spline points in my objects so I wanted to figure out if there's a way to connect them to the point uh, node in an instance so here it is so now if you want to like connect other object you can just like drag in something else and make another point on a spline and you know you can go as crazy as you know you could probably generate points and stuff uh, automatically and whatever you can go very deep or if you just need quick setup this will work 